At a time when climate change is making waters in the Antarctic warmer and rearranging ocean currents, the Weddell Sea has been mostly immune. It's an area that's going to have hopefully a, a more or less intact ecosystem for much longer than we're going to have in, in other parts of the Antarctic. More time for penguins and other species to adapt to whatever changes they eventually encounter. But researchers and conservationists say marine animals need protection from other threats, like large-scale fishing. They're pushing for the Weddell Sea to be declared a marine protected area. Governments have failed for several years to create an ocean sanctuary in the Weddell Sea. This cannot be another year of delay uh, and continued harm uh, to penguin populations and other wildlife here in the Antarctic. Marine protected areas are becoming widespread. By some estimates, almost 8% of the ocean is under some sort of protection, including 14 locations in Canada. At 2.8 million square kilometers, the Weddell Sea would be the largest marine protected area on Earth. But holdouts, including China and Russia, are reluctant to give up their fishing interests. As the political wrangling continues, so does research, like determining how penguin populations are holding up in the current environment. We need to do science on the ground first. That's why we're in a place like this, a penguin colony, to understand change and what's here already so that we can protect the species where they need it most. Bolstering their argument for conservation, fully aware that what ultimately happens in the Weddell Sea is out of their hands. Ross Lord, Global News.